Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got something special for you today. Uh, this is a true free energy device. No moving parts. Um, absolutely nothing whatsoever. Um, it was constant at <clears throat> 1.3 volts uh, DC for about four hours. Um, this is hooked up to this battery here. Um, the battery is not fully charged. You can see that. Um, this voltage meter is hooked into this start capacitor here. I don't know if I've got a part number on there or not. Um, yeah, there's a part number. E146162. Um, it runs up to this uh, full wave uh, bridge rectifier. Um, got four uh, 10 amp, 1000 volt uh, rectifier diodes on here. I've got a uh, polarized. 680 microfarad smoothing capacitor here. Let's see if I can get uh, that. 200 volts, 680 microfarads. These are the 10A10s, uh, and it is hooked into uh, the 15 ohm. Now, the interesting part about this is, uh, like I said, this this whole part of the circuit right here, I unplugged. So, this is not this is not even hooked up. This is a uh, transformer, a small uh, full wave rectifier, a couple of capacitors, um, different setups. I have a ground wire. Uh, running into the dirt right here um, there is literally nothing else um, that's it now when I turn the shaft I get almost 40 volts. It's 38 volts direct current, which is plenty enough to charge this battery. Now, in order to turn the motor, I need I need about three or four volts direct current. Uh, now, this does produce alternating current, and it produces it on uh, two different coils. I can't really see there. There we go. Alright, see my shaft there with two magnets. Okay, uh, one's facing uh, north going out and one's facing south going out. Now, if I turn this shaft, you're going to see the voltage go up uh, quite a bit. There we go. Now we have. 5.23 volts. Not a whole lot, right? Well, why are you saying this is a free energy device, buddy? Well, let me show you this. I will short out these leads capacitor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let me let go. What's happening? It is building its own charge back up. Now, because I haven't had this thing running 
in hours there's no leftover magnetic field in the coils so it's going really slow I can change that I've got a 5 volt power source running from a USB off of this power inverter now you see where I'm going with this get an accurate reading here if I can do the one-handed camera to actually let me do it like this I'll do the uh, two-handed camera trick here this meter here um, so I can extra you know extra circuits extra stuff extra stuff I see that's already back up to eight millivolts or eight hundred millivolts eight volts right there I see like I said I can short this out and it just it builds right back up and it'll go all the way back up um, after running it for a couple of minutes it'll build up uh, a couple of volts almost almost two volts I think it was 1.65 is, is what uh, is what I got the very first time but I've been like I said I've been messing with it quite a bit and uh, well, of course, you know, it built up a, a good charge. But, nevertheless, 134 millivolts, 36, 37, 38, 39. Um, with it running, it gets up to 300 really quick. Now, if I now actually with it with it running, it gets up to 38 volts, <laughs> really, really quick, like almost instantly. And that's because this is a uh, well, it's a homemade generator, and it's got two different outputs. Uh, both outputs are alternating current, um, which, like I said, I've got the full wave bridge rectifiers here and here. Uh, and that changes alternating current into direct current um, using diodes and then uh, to get the instead of it pulsating you add a smoothing capacitor and the voltage stays at the top so it's it's actually almost a uh, really good direct current uh, sine wave there so without further ado I know this is I'm not touching anything here. Oh, meter went off. Uh, yeah, see, we're at. Uh, let me go up to 200 here. Let's see, if I put it at 20, then it'll just overload. So, alright. See if I can do this one handed. And I haven't tried to uh, power it with this yet, so I don't even know if it will, honestly. I don't know if there's enough uh, wattage to get this thing going. Huh. 
Okay. Um, let's see here. You know what? Let me just do this real quick. I don't need this part of the circuit right now, so... I want, I want to see if that will in fact power this circuit. Now I haven't had very much time to play with this, um, but I will get this into a closed loop system using this transformer. So. Um, said don't need any of this here and this is uh, no longer hooked up here you know what I will go ahead and plug this in so you can see the alternating current coming through have AC voltage right here probably about 20 somewhere right around 20 volts but like I said I want to see if this uh, little USB will power this motor if it's strong enough Nope. Not enough wattage there. It's like a uh, trickle charger, so no big deal. Alright, moving on. Alright, here we've got uh, I really need a cameraman, a woman. So our energy consumption is almost nothing. Four point eight volts. Now, when you see this thing fire up and go, um, you're gonna think, "What is that?" Um. in place. Now, can you see that? Yeah, it's just pretty. Uh, this one doesn't matter because it's like I said, it's just hooked up to this uh, four-wheeler battery right now and I don't have the system charging anything. I don't have a load on the system. I'm just going to give you guys a voltage reading as of right now um, and then we'll uh, we'll put the load on the on the battery and see what's uh,
put some screws in everything. It's not vibrating like it was. All right, well, with everything extra, um, we're at 30 volts right now. And we can short that out and see what it does. Oh, yeah, that was a, uh, that was a heck of a spark there. What's going on here? I bet this is, Couldn't have it that quick. It really take any time at all. Um, it'll build up 1.5 volts in uh, no time. Yeah, so uh, that's a whole lot faster than it was just a minute ago. But I just wanted to show y'all uh, this little circuit that I'm working on here. Oh, I wanted to show you the. AC voltage. And it's, it's going to stay there until, you know, well, you know what, let's, uh, It's going to build back up just a little bit. 
and I don't have the system uh, charging this battery right now as it's coming out. Um, I mean, look at look at this now. That is 2.92 volts. Nothing's moving. Nothing's moving. You haven't. You didn't see me turn it back on or anything like that. This thing is at 2.92 volts. Now, after about four hours, it'll level down to one point. Let me let's see. Here. Okay, one point three volts direct current, uh, which is still without any moving parts or any anything whatsoever. I mean, that's amazing. That's free energy. That's free energy. So, uh, I mean, what can you say? This is a little bitty, little bitty system, you know. You've got alternating current, rectified, uh, smoothed out into a capacitor, ran into voltage meter. This is holding your charge. Now, um, once I get the battery on there and it's charging the battery, then I'll be able to run the battery. Uh, I'll separate, I'll, I'll reduce the voltage down. Um, I want to keep the voltage at about 6 volts because with it, 6 volts, half an amp, or 500 milliamps, uh, this thing, it just goes. It, it will really, it will really kick off. Um, let's see if... Let's see how much of a charge this has. I don't want to do what I did just a minute ago and kill the battery by hooking it up to a coil. <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh, one handed camera tricks, that's something else. Alright. Oh, that battery is way dead. It's supposed to be 11.1 .1 volts. It's at 4.21. So, yeah, I don't even really see a point in trying it. I'll try it, but I don't really see the point in trying it. It's it's not going to do anything, really. I wanted to show you what it would do. Uh, maximum, you know, maximum speed and everything, but... It don't look like that's going to happen right now. Uh, but, just for the sake of uh, video here. I will go ahead and... Alright. It's doing a little bit. Not much. Oh, crap. Let's see here. Alright, we've got 9 volts AC, 17 volts DC, <coughs> and that's going to slow down and stop. Now this is a little bitty RC car motor. So I mean this this battery really is dead. It's it's I don't want to kill it completely. And damage your battery when you get it under 50%. Um, so uh, it's got a timer on this thing and it just it irritates me. So let's see here. It's uh, 17. Point and that will just go down and down and down and down until uh, about three hours. It'll be at 1.3 volts DC. All right. So here's a. Uh, let's try this real quick. Set that this meter on DC. Let's see where this battery is. 
4.57. Alright. I wouldn't advise doing this, but uh, what do I got to lose? I'm going to put this energy back into this battery. Because I don't want to waste it. I mean, I've got... Six volts to charge this battery. See, I don't have anything. This voltage meter right here. See, it's it's building up. 4.54, 4, you know what I mean? And you'll notice the wires are just going right here to this. Going over here to this coil. Going up here to the to the homemade generator. Permanent magnet uh it's, it's split phase, I guess. It's got two phases, uh, two coils. See, that's because I've ran it. It's still got a magnetic field. It's still building up a charge. So, I mean, there you have it, you know. I, mean, I can just short this thing out. Oh, zero volts. Let go. And because it's still got magnetic field in there it will just sit there and build right back up let's switch it over here to millivolts so you can see it a little better yeah 80 and that's that's free energy there's there's nothing you know there's nothing else to say about that that's free I'm not using any mechanical or any anything um, now I am going to run uh, this coil because it had uh, lower ohms uh, this one had 15 ohms and this one had 9 ohms so there's not going to be as much power coming out of this one. But I am going to run it over here to this transformer and step up the voltage. And then run it into this uh, rectifier circuit. Smooth out the signal. Run it to this motor. Or, well, I'm going to run it to a battery to the motor. And because it's going through this transformer, uh, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't fight itself because the, the circuit will be isolated and that's basically what I that's basically about all I wanted to show you guys today um, I'm gonna play around with it some more uh, I'm gonna use these little bitty batteries to, to charge these kind of batteries well, I'm gonna charge this one first got uh, yeah, ten and a half volts on it this uh, four wheeler battery. If I had some uh, alligator clips, I'd just clip it over to there and fire it up with this battery and see what it would do. You know, for well, never mind. It's it's another surgery. But anyways, you know, I've, I've got medical problems. I can't stand up for more than 10, 15 minutes. I can't sit down for more than 10 or 15 minutes uh, without hurting. Sometimes I hurt so bad I throw up. It's just life. You know, it's... Look, we're at, we're at uh, half, half a volt right there. Not doing anything. So... You know, don't forget to like this 
share this, subscribe to my channel, click the little notification box so that you get notified when I upload these videos. Um, because I'm as soon as I get the funding, you know, I can't do this with five or ten dollars from two or three people. Yeah, I spend 90, 98% in between 90 and 99. Most of the time, I spend 100% of the donation money on equipment. I mean, you every, every single video you guys see, um, there's more and more stuff. Look, this is brand new. This thing's 30 bucks. I had someone, uh, Lynn, thank you very much, brother. Uh, that twenty dollars added up with whatever with with what I had in the PayPal account already, I was able to buy a voltage meter. We got this, you know. We're getting this going. Okay, we got a little bitty power inverter. Yeah, it was it was on sale. It was twenty dollars. Finally, after the homemade soldering gun. I've got me a nice soldering gun now. Well, I say nice soldering gun. It's it's a it's a very small one, you know, a thirty watt soldering gun. But it works really good. It does exactly what I need it to do. I've got plenty of resistors. I've got plenty of diodes. Um, I just ordered they, these came in the mail yesterday. Um, these are the ten A tens. Rectifier diodes. <clears throat> yeah, a thousand volts. Uh, Ten amps. Ten amps of current. Got twenty of them for ten dollars. Uh, if I would have done the uh, free shipping, I wouldn't have gotten it. I wouldn't have gotten it near saying, but. Uh, it would have been $3.99 cheaper. And I, I should have done that, but but I didn't. I think my camera, yeah, my camera uh, got a little dirty. But, you know, uh, this technology is real. It's, it's really real. Okay, for the people out there that know me, know how I gained this technology, I mean, that right there, that right there, you know, is the reason why my loyal subscribers, my loyal friends are donating to me. Because they know how I learned all this. Yeah, it took me quite a few years to reverse engineer it. And, uh, you know, when I woke up, you know, I was dead for 45 minutes when I, when I woke up. Instead of asking who I was and where I was at and everything, I was asking for a pen and a piece of paper, and I drew out the diagram for all this, the blueprints, and then I mailed it to myself. So it was post dated, marked after I took it, had it notarized. So, yeah, yeah, this is real. Let's get this going. Okay, I want to see, I want to see some real money come in so I can afford to not spend 30, you know, 60, 90, 100, uh, $300 right here, $300, plus all the resistors, capacitors, this was fifteen ninety nine. you know, this is just this little bit of nothing right here, that's almost $200 right here, or, I'm sorry, almost $300 right here. The battery was $129, plus tax, about $140. So, you know, that battery was $55, but I bought it, uh, I bought it about four years ago. And if you take care of your stuff, then it'll last. If you know how to take care of it. Don't let your battery go below 50% charge. You're damaging it. And if you keep it at 100% charge all the time, you're damaging it. You know, you need to charge it up 100%, let it get down to about 20-30%, and then charge it back up. That's how you take care of batteries. If you're going to store your battery, keep
kill that sucker down to about 60% charge. And then store it. Like I said, I've had that thing for at least three or four years. Braden was one, he's five now. Yeah, that's four years. He's almost six. See, that is steadily climbing. We're almost, we're over half a bolt. 580 millivolts. Now, there's not a lot of current there, but it's free. There's nothing moving. That tells you the efficiency. Well, the efficiency is greater, you know, than it's not. I mean, let's let's face facts, guys. Uh, all the all the trials and tribulations. That's burn. All the, all the everything that I've been through, everything that I'm currently going through, legal problems, medical problems. Everything that I've been through and everything that I'm going through right now, you know, I need back surgery. Do you think I'm going to give up? No, that's not an option. The day you give up is the day you lose everything. And that's how I live my life. If you give up, the first thing you lose is your integrity and your dignity. And it just goes downhill from there. You cannot give up. It doesn't matter what you're doing, what you're trying to do. You don't give up. You know, I like to I like to put a hashtag on my special videos. And I'll put it on this one too. It's hashtag live life loving. And if you type in your Google or Bing or whatever, your search bar at the top of your computer or you hit your microphone on your on your phone and you put in the pound sign and live life loving and you're going to find some special videos of mine including this one so with that being said Lynn thanks for that brother I really do appreciate that uh, Jay Lynn Cody I, man, I love you guys uh, Sheila everybody out there you know that supports me in this Skip Skip brother yeah I was getting to it I was getting there uh, I love y'all. I really do. I couldn't. I couldn't have dreamed of doing all this without having the support of people, you know, that care about me and love. And I know you guys love me too. And when we're sitting on a beach, all laughing about this day, on vacation for a month, because that's what we're gonna do. Last time I went on vacation was 1998. A lot of you wasn't born until 1998, so if that tells you anything. Oh, and my shop, yeah, we bought that ourselves with taxes. Most most of everything we have around here bought ourselves. Uh, oh, before I go, because I know this is a horribly long video, but I wanted to get these important things out. You know, this is very important to me. Okay, if you're on Social Security and you only have an extra 20 or $30 a month, do not send money to my PayPal. Because if I find out that you're on Social Security, ask Cody. He, he comments on here. I love him to death. He's so, we're so alike. He's got a screwed up back. He never gives up. You know, he just, he just keeps going and keeps going and, and it doesn't matter. You got kids, you keep on keeping on. You don't ever give up. I sent money back to him. I've got, uh, now that I've got a couple of donations, I'll be able to mail his, uh, you know, Cody was the one that won. Uh, he won the pulse width modulator, the signal generator. And I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna add some stuff in there. I've got, uh, I've got some. <coughs> I've got some connectors and stuff, and I bought a uh, T3 
two brand new 9 volt batteries. I'm going to give him a brand new battery. Brother, I'm getting it all together and getting it ready for you. I'm going to send it to you. Nice little package. Uh, I can't promise, you know, that I'll write you a letter. Uh, I hate, I hate writing letters, but just know that I love you. And it was fate that you got the very first pulse with modulator that I, that you know, I, I put together on a PCB like that. And it's beautiful. You guys haven't seen it? Go look at it. Now, if you want to help support us and what we're doing, www.payplm e forward slash Thomas Bowie B U I E now if you can afford send me ten bucks if all of my subscribers sent me ten dollars one time just one time everybody sent me ten dollars that'd be it this would get done right now. And I would start building the machines. I'd sell a couple of them. Give two or three away. Whatever I can afford to give away, I will. Half of it's going to be given away. And then we're going into mass production. And from then on, then there's going to be a lot of... A lot of uh, free energy systems that are going to be given away. Now, we can't call them free energy systems because we're going to put a uh, solar panel on top of them that you don't need. That way it's got an external power source. If it has an external power source, then it's not a free energy system. But right. let's see what we're up to right now. Yeah, 600 millivolts. That's free energy. That is free energy. That is free energy. Yeah, I wrote that down so I wouldn't forget it. Uh, that was constant with no load after uh, after like four hours, like three or four hours. But this video is way too long. I'm hungry. I know the kids are not that hungry, but they will eat. They're eating constantly, and uh, that really makes me happy. So they're getting so big. Let me show you guys what happened to my garden, and then we'll wrap this up. All right. What are you making this? Now you, you see my watermelon plants are just—I mean, they are just all over the place. I've actually got some yeah. little watermelons in there. Um, I don't think I'll be able to find one for the video. It it always happens like that. I'll uh, I'll look, but you'll see everywhere there's a flower, there will be a watermelon. Um, which that's not going to be true because I don't have the extra water uh, built up right now to uh, to be watering my garden all the time. Look at all these flowers I've got. I mean. Just beautiful flowers everywhere. They're everywhere, and they are. They are beautiful. Purple, pink. I wish this one right here would bloom again. This one's blue. Um, oh, this thing is just all over the place. Uh, but I want to show y'all something, and it's so tragic. Now, I am standing up and that plant is almost as tall as me okay where's the rest of them let me show you what happened almost four days of the uh, thorn worms what are they called the green tomato worms look what happened now they're growing back now because I killed them all off Beautiful, beautiful, all perfect, beautiful. 
they started down here at this end and they went all the way up my tomato row and they ate almost every bit of it before I caught you know I woke up and I come out here and I killed at least 20 of these things uh, you know the green uh, thorn worms green got the uh, big old thorn on their back on their butt yeah they came out here and they just tore my tomatoes up and they were not just eating the leaves and the stems and everything but they they ate my tomatoes too and that made me mad really mad I mean I've I've got this couple of plants here on the end uh, and that's when I really caught you know I've really got it under control I got them all killed uh, I've got some more see there's there's tomato coming out right there and I've eaten uh, I love tomatoes so I've eaten all of them except for this one right here and it's two tomatoes that have grown together doesn't that look funny you never know what you're gonna get so and that's messy the beans I haven't done hardly I don't take care of the beans don't care about the beans I grew them just because I had the seeds those are beans my cucumbers they're dead like I said I, I don't have enough water there's a bunch of cucumbers there there's still one hanging there they're dead uh, now my habaneros um, they're starting to they're starting to produce the peppers um, spinach is well I haven't taken care of it uh, bell peppers these things are finally starting to come out these are banana peppers these are banana peppers uh, the bell peppers are right over there uh, but this is get off of there freaking grasshoppers out here eating eating holes in it Yep, but that, that was just, that was horrifying. One of my favorite things to eat, and them little worms just tore every bit of it up. All of it. Tore it all up. But I saved, uh, um, from there up to there, it gets better and better, but, you know, and I've got... Right here, this is this part of this, this tomato plant. It came from right there. So I'm gonna pull it back and set it right there because it's got some tomatoes coming out of it. Hey, me. Yes, baby. Are you gonna say hi? Say hi. Hi. I love you. Yeah, the leaves, I know. Oh no, the leaves. Yep, I can't wait. There's some more beans and bell peppers. Habaneros. Oh, there's more beans. They're, the beans just, they're over there and right here. And now they're just all over the place, all the way over up to here. So. Probably gonna have some hot beans if I eat any of them. Yes, baby, I know. This, the beans. The beans. Alright, holy crap. 56 minute video. Well, I guess it was worth it. I know you aren't watching any of this, the end of any of this, so. Yep, no matter. I love you guys, and, uh, Oh, there's a pretty orange one. Orange and purple and the hummingbirds are coming out here and just they love it. And I love having them out here. That's why I got a hummingbird feeder. So anyways, I gotta get out of here. Gonna go get something to eat. And uh we'll see you guys soon.